Um, riding my bike down the street, everything is normal. What started out as a normal day turned devastating for Dylan Harvey. Yeah, a gentleman in the left-hand turn lane pulls back out into the left lane and uh, I rear end him. Dylan was severely injured in the motorcycle crash, even though he was wearing a helmet and full gear. He broke his right leg badly, had internal injuries, but the worst was his left arm. Once I woke up in the hospital, I knew that I couldn't feel it, move it. Um, they couldn't even recognize that it was there. Dylan's doctors said the nerve damage in his arm was too severe and they would likely have to amputate it. We're not going to accept this. We're going to seek out and find another way. Dylan's mother got several opinions, determined to find a different option. But without, without that kind of drive, we would not have been able to find Dr. Adelson. And without Dr. Adelson, I, I wouldn't have my arm. The Harveys met Dr. David Adelson several months after the accident. After the initial visit, Dylan was in surgery within weeks. He had his, what's considered a severe uh, brachial plexus injury, and so it was really a 9 to 10 over 10 uh, in the sense of severity. Dr. Adelson performed a nerve graft surgery to repair Dylan's arm. Within about seven months, Dylan had full movement. Now, over two years later, Dylan gets to ride on the 2018 Donate Life Rose Parade float in Pasadena next month. When we were um, told that, that he was chosen to be in the parade and on a float, it's a huge honor. Everybody that's on the float um, is there due to uh, a donor. Um, either they've given something or they've received something from somebody else. Dylan says he's excited to ride on a float that has so much meaning, especially to him. I'm Mallory Moore for Arizona's Family.